hello guys welcome to this video so in this video we will actually build out a web application which allows you to convert images multiple images to pdf document using image magic library in node.js express so you can basically see this is the application we will be building and i am just running this application on localhost 3000 and uh, here you need to have this is actual interface which we developed using bootstrap and here we have this choose file button as you basically select this button a drop down will open here you will be able to select your image images so i will go into this so you can basically select uh, image files like this let me select these two images and then click on this button convert to pdf so it will actually use the image magic command automatically it will convert those images to pdf document so now you can see it has taken the full space in the page so this is actual first page in the pdf document which contains the first image and this is a second image which contains the second page of the pdf document so in this way we will able to convert our multiple png jpg images to pdf document using node.js express so you can basically select as many images as you want let's suppose i select all these images six images and you will basically see now it has uh, six six pages each image taking the full page of the pdf document so if you need uh, basically the live demo guys i have also deployed this application on my free uh, media tools website so this is the url you can go and uh, this is my official tool right here you can check out the live demo as well here you again need to check uh, just paste your images whichever images you are taking so just click download pdf so it will upload the files with the progress bar and now you'll basically see it will uh, just give you the pdf file so you can also try out this application i have deployed this on the url i have given the link you can just try out on my free media tools website image to pdf and we will be building this tool and if you need the full source code guys i have also given the link in the description for the source code you can directly purchase it it uh, you will get a zip file which will actually contain this directory structure you can purchase it after the payment you will be able to download it from google drive now let's get started for, by building this application so the we are actually using image magic library if you don't know image magic it's a free open source image processing library and uh, it has its own command line tool utility we are using that and you just need to download that for windows it is available for linux windows mac it's a cross-platform software so once you install this exe file you just need to open your command line and just type magic so as you type here magic the command will work so successfully we have installed image magic so now we are in a situation to actually make our file so what i will do is that i will delete all the source code and start from scratch so here first of all guys what we need to do right here we need our express server so we are developing this application in node.js express so we need some modules so right here we need to install npm i express and then malter so these two packages are required for this application guys so express will be the backend server on which our app will be running and malter will be the library which will be allowing us to actually upload the image files to our web web backend server so these two modules are required simply install these by using this command so i have already in installed this so i will just start my application node more index.js so now right here we will basically import our express module so we will import the express module and we will actually make a new app express and we will listen this app on port number 5000 so in the callback function we can simply write a console log statement that app is listening on port 5000 so if you just refresh now and see app is listening on port 5000 so after that guys we also need to uh, import some uh, just show some thing on the screen so we will make a get request so some if someone goes to the home page we will actually show the template here response sent file and uh, in the root directory we will be making a file which is index.html so right here what we are telling right here is if someone opens the home page we were we were sending this template right here we will actually 
change this title to image to PDF and simply have a heading which is image to PDF converter. So if you just write this and just go to your local host 5000, you will actually see this will be coming right here. The heading is coming. So now we just need to construct our template. So the template is very simple. We, here we are actually using bootstrap. So simply include the bootstrap link tag after the title. So we have in included the bootstrap CDN. So after that guys, we also need to use the container class of bootstrap. Inside that we will show a heading. So we will have a text center class of bootstrap to actually align the heading in the center position. So we will say that convert image to PDF. So then we will actually have a form tag slash merge and here we make a simple post request and encoding type you need to make multi-part form data because we are uploading images. So these three attributes we need to give to the form tag and then we will have the form group class of bootstrap and here we will actually have an input type file where we will allow the user to upload files. So here we need to give this name attribute which we will be using in the backend server code. Uh, you need to just give it a, anything you can give. I am just giving files here and we will allow the user to upload multiple files. So we will give it this multiple attribute and this is a required field. So user must submit the files and we will be giving a class to it of form control. It's a bootstrap class. So if you just refresh now, you will actually see this aligning here. This is a choose file button and here you will be able to select your PNG and JPG images. After that guys, what we need to do is that we need to have a button. Again, we will give a form group class and here the button will be a convert image to PDF. We'll give it a class of BTN. These are our bootstrap classes, BTN, BTN danger, BTN block. So if you see, there will be this button. It will take full space, convert image to PDF. You can even change this color to primary. So this will change to blue color. So various classes are there in bootstrap. So, so now if you see that it will change to blue color. So now we just need to now make this post request when we actually make this post request we need to make this slash merge in our backend code so right here we will make this post request app post slash merge so before you basically convert the images to pdf we need to upload the images for uploading the images we need to import our malter package so right here at the very top we will need to import the malter package so we also need the path module which is a built-in module so require it and here we will also need to uh, include two more lines for the body parser middleware so here express.url encoded extended to false but this is required guys because we are working with fops because we have given this name attribute right here so now to get this value in the backend server we need this body parser middleware so these two lines we need to write which is express json express dot json so you need to write this line so after you do this guys uh, now what we need to do is that we need to first of all make the storage for storing the files or for uploading the files for doing that we need to make an object of storage and malter contains these two methods either you can store it on the disk physical disk storage so we will be storing it inside our backend server and here we will provide a destination location where you need to actually store the files so we will be storing it inside uh, a directory here we will mention this directory called as in the public slash uploads so just make sure you create this directory structure in the project just create a public directory inside that we will create a uploads directory so here all the image files will get uploaded once the user selects them so we will i have provided this location after that the actual file name what file name it will be given so function request file callback and here we will give it the actual file name that it will be giving so file dot field name and here we will be using the date dot now function which will automatically every time it will give it a unique name 
and also we will be concatenating the uh, extension using the path module so it will get the extension of the file using their original name so this is the actual storage object that we defined and also now we will also be defining uh, filter so that we only select image files we, we can even define that at the client side also because we do have it this attribute called as accept so we can only accept image files but uh, if you want to implement it on the server side Malter do have this filtration available so we can basically define an image filter which will actually take a callback function and here we can simply compare the file dot mem type property if the mem type we only need these three mem types image slash png for the png files and the second mem type will be for the, the jpg and the third mem type will be for double equal to image slash jpg so in either of these three cases we will simply process the file and return true here if this is not the case in the else block we will simply say for false we will return and also return an error message back to the user that uh, new error that uh, only png uh, dot jpg and dot jpeg format allowed like this we have written an error like this so we have basically provided the storage and the image filter now we just need to construct our malter middleware so we will call this malter and basically pass these two which is the storage that we defined and the file Im image filter so there is a file filter property in malter and we will provide our own filter that we created which is image filter now we just need to define actually basically uh, right here in the post request we will actually call this middleware which is upload dot and it contains uh, a method called as array which allows you to upload multiple files and we will provide this name parameter that we define in the index.html so you, you need to provide the same name parameter right here and uh, the second parameter is the number of files that needs to be uploaded at one time so we will be uploading 100 files a max of 100 files we will allow the user to upload it at one time so after that the files will get uploaded and we will simply console log request files just to check if it is uploading or not now let me select our image files I selected these files and just see basically uh, just go to the bottom side and now you will basically see it will contain the array here array of object each file has these properties called as field name original name uh, this is the destination which is stored you will see the full path right here if you check your directory the files are uploaded in the backend server so now the code is working guys we now need to process these files so first of all we will create a global variable which is list right here at the very top So just create a list so we can access it right here globally so we will simply say if uh, request if the files are uploaded in that case we will basically say request file start for each file for each image file we will uh, add this to the list plus is equal to and in backtick symbol we will print the path file dot path and list plus and then we will be plus is equal to and we will give it a some space right here like this and now if you see so I think if you console log list uh, basically list will contain all the file paths that we have in this format so file path will be there space the second file will come third file will come like this so after we do this we, we have this in magic image magic we have a command right here which we can execute 
and for executing programmatically we will actually use a module called as uh, execute from child process so this is a built in module in node.js and we will make use of this image sorry execute and magic convert and here we will provide our list and here we also need to give it an output file name output file name will be constructed and date dot now every time it will be unique output dot pdf we will give it this output file name and then error standard output standard error this is a callback function and inside this we will basically say if any sort of error take place then we will throw this error if no error take place then we will actually download the file so for downloading the file in express we have the download function and the output file name will download this that's all so this completes the application let me format the code right here so if you basically now select our images so now you can see that your images are successfully converted to pdf documents right here and uh, you can see that you can even try out my tool which is deployed guys you can go to freemediatools.com/images2pdf i have given the link in the description you can try out the live demo and if you are interested you can also purchase the full source code as well if you have any sort of doubt so this was the application guys so please hit that like button subscribe the channel you can see that you can select multiple images like this click on this button and it will basically download it as a pdf document so please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video